Hello everybody, we're going to be going over how to make a Job's plot. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paste my data for my mole fraction of iron and my absorbance. I used Control shift v to paste this. This does so that way it'll paste without formatting and it'll paste my numbers only. And I'm also going to double check that all of my sig figs are correct. You'll have to double check your sig figs for your data. Next, what I want to do is I want to copy over my first four data points for the absorbance. So I'm going to highlight the first four. Press Control C, and once again, doing Control Shift V. Remember, that's Control Shift V, not just Control V. That uh, will paste the formatting too. We just want the numbers. So once again, Control C, and then Control Shift V to paste these numbers. Now I'm going to insert my chart. So I'm going to highlight A and B. I'm highlighting the columns, not just the data cells, all of the columns. I'm going to insert a chart. And if Google Sheets is being nice to you, it'll be a scatter plot. If not, you'll have to scroll down and select a scatter chart. We want to make sure that our X axis is our ferrous iron and our series, which is our Y axis, is our absorbance. And we're going to double check that the labels for these are correct. You can either type over there or you can type over here when you double click on that. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add in our other series. So we're going to come here to Setup. I'm going to click Add a Series and select a data range. And then the thing that's important here is you want to select the entire column. If you select just the numbers, it's going to mess up whenever you insert it into your chart. So you want to make sure you select the entire column. Then you'll press OK. And as you can see, we can see our red dots right there. Next, we're going to add another series, select a data range, and we're going to select all of column D. Once again, all of the column, not just the numbers. So now you can see our very nice data points, except our series labels got a little bit messed up. This happens sometimes. I found if you just unclick and re-click, use column rows row one as headers, that fixes it and it's labeled as the first four data points and the last seven data points. Next, I'm going to come over here to customize and I'm going to go to series. And I'm first going to select my red, so my first four data points. I'm going to click Add a Trend Line. And for this one, I want to label it with the equation and show my R squared. Then I'm going to go back up. And I'm going to select the last seven data points. I'm going to click a trend line, but I don't need the equation for this one. I only need the equation for my red. Okay, so that's all you need to make the chart. Uh, good luck, everybody.